Hi everyone, this is Mistel. Today I'm taking a break from soloing the Tamers and instead I'm going to show you how to get a Skywiz Moth. So you need to catch one of these albatrosses and I found that around the stairs here is a really good place to kind of catch them. I have had a little bit of problems with uh, getting getting onto one because the, the way to do it is that you have to do some damage to them. But being a Shadow Priest I obviously started dotting them and uh, apparently Right now, it's not working when you're casting dots, at least it hasn't worked for me. But you should be able to get picked up by one if you use a direct damage spell, so let's try that instead. So here we have one, and I'm getting attacked by all sorts of other stuff, but it doesn't really matter. If I get the direct damage in, it will, be, it will pick me up, as you can see, and then it will fly me to wherever I want to go. So now the trick is to get off this bird, you have to kind of make sure that you do it at the right time, because you don't want to get off here, obviously. You want to get off at the um, at the pillars where the, where the sky wisp moths, sky wisp moths sorry, uh, are, are spawning. And uh, it can be, if you take it from the lake, it can be kind of a flight and take a little bit of time. So you have to be patient, because the, the moths are, you know, spawning on these tops and uh, these albatrosses are unfortunately taking uh, the scenic route, so to speak. One thing that is good to mention, which I, I forgot to say before, is that uh, the high wind albatross will only drop you if you uh, kill it, basically. So you need to, um, it's a good idea, I find, to, to make it, uh, to lower the HP of it so it's it's very easy to kill them just one or two hits um, once you are in the right position so i'm usually um, i'm usually killing it as much as i can and uh, and then just waiting for it to uh, for me to be close to a place where there is a sky wisp moth and uh, it can be a little bit tricky so be careful because if you are uh, if you're unlucky and uh, get some some crits in suddenly maybe you're getting dropped off in a place where you don't want to get dropped off and it, it takes a little bit of trial and error to get this right so now we're nearing a place where there's some sky with moth and i feel that it's a good time to uh, drop so i'll just turn my camera like this and then i'll do a shadow of death and drop down and as you can see, you really have to time it carefully because it's there's not much space here to, um, well, to basically fall off on or, or get off on. So uh, make sure that, as as I did here, that the albatross is can be killed in one hit or at least two very quick hits. So now I'm here and I will fight the skywards boss, and uh, then I'll show you the ability of it afterwards. When you're up here, I suggest that you catch all of the Skywiz moths that are there, or at least try it out to see if you can get a good um, a good breed. The available breeds are Health Speed, Power Speed, and uh, Balance Balance. And personally, I think that uh, Power Speed is the best one. And I actually got lucky and got one here, so um, I need to upgrade it with a pet stone, and then I need to uh, create a moth team. Basically, that's uh, that's my plan. And uh, the abilities of the Skyward Moth is a little bit different than, than that of the most of the moths in the game. So that's why it's interesting to have. It has Slicing Winds, which you, you, you will find with other moths as well. It has Cocoon Strike, which again is uh, pretty basic. And Moth Dust as well. But then it starts being a little bit more interesting in the second row. It has Reckless Strike and it has Counter Spell, which is um, it's kind of cool. It's a magic ability on a flying monster, so that means that uh, that you will be strong against flying if you if you use this. Oh, wait, yes, against flying if you use this, and that could be a little bit interesting to have that as a counter to to an all flying there, and then uh, an all flying team, and then it has call lightning, which is pretty cool because um, if you go with a full moth team, you will have uh, these attacks that deal little damage uh, but multiple times, and call lightning is just really good with that. So. I'm uh, going to build a moth team and then uh, 
I'm going to make a video of it and we'll see how it, it works. But I definitely want to have the sky with wisp moth in there. And also, hopefully, <laughs> when I make that video, I will have learned to say sky wisp moth. But it's a, it's, pretty <laughs> it's a pretty hard combination of words for me to say. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. If you have ideas for future videos, uh, leave it in the comments section below. I love getting feedback, so uh, anything that you want to, uh, to tell me, um, it's fine. <laughs> and uh, until next time, bye bye.